So you're thinking about moving to San Jose and wonder what living here is really like? I'm about to give you the good, bad, and the ugly right now. Hi, I'm Eli Bader. Welcome to another episode of Analyze That, where we show you everything about Bay Area living. In this video, we're going to give you the pros and the cons of living in San Jose, California. We're going to start by giving you the top three reasons of living in San Jose. And that number one reason is diversity. One of the best things we hear about San Jose is it's not difficult at all to meet new people. You get some of the most interesting and creative people from all around the world right here in your backyard. All the different tech campuses around the Bay Area attract people from different cultures. That's what makes the Bay Area so diverse. You're going to see this reflected in the food scene throughout the San Jose area. From Latin American, Asian and European influences, you're going to get all types of food within one square mile radius. You don't have to drive to San Francisco to experience some of the best foods. You have it right here in your backyard. The second biggest reason people love living in San Jose is the strong economy and all the benefits that come with it. There are three big markers of an expanding economy worth highlighting. The job market, expansion projects, and population growth. This is why San Jose has been nicknamed the capital of Silicon Valley, with campuses for Google, Facebook, and Apple located right here. And it's because of that, the average annual salary here is $30,000 more than the national average. In addition, San Jose's unemployment rates are among the lowest in the country. San Jose is constantly expanding its commercial, residential, and public projects. You see everything from new transit lines, freeways, and new construction communities being built up every day. The third reason people love living here is because living in San Jose is so convenient and accessible. The infrastructure is what makes living here very attractive. For example, San Jose's airport, located right here, has over 50 non-stop destinations. One of our strengths is our public transportation system. Between BART, our light rail system, the VTA, and all the numerous bus and shuttle routes throughout town, you can get a ride from almost anywhere. The US News and World Report ranked San Jose number two in best places to live in California, number five in best places to live for quality of life, and number 36 in best places to live in the entire country. So those are some of the pros. But not everything is perfect, so if you're really serious about moving to the area, let me share with you some of the cons. Number one, San Jose has a very expensive cost of living. The costs are eye-opening in comparison to other areas of the country, regardless where you're coming from. Even between cities in California, San Jose ranks among the highest in the cost of living indexes. That includes Los Angeles. The largest contributor to this is the cost of real estate, with the average home in San Jose going for 1.225 million. But it's not just homes. San Jose ranks among the highest in transportation, childcare, utilities, and groceries. If you can deal with the cost of living, then maybe you won't mind the second con, the traffic. I hate traffic here, and so do most people. The average commute is 29.5 minutes. That's 2.6 minutes more than the national average. And if you hate traffic as much as I do, but you still want to live here, just get used to staring at some taillights. You're going to want to use apps like Waze to avoid accidents that will slow you down. Or what I like to do is plan my driving strategically. For example, I'll go to the grocery store at night when traffic is light. The third con, one more thing you need to be prepared for is the turnover. Let me explain. There's constant influx and migration in and out of this area. Both people and businesses are moving at a rapid pace. So it's natural for people to move here for two years and then move back to where they came from. Due to the pandemic, our population actually decreased by 4.8%, which is the first time in the last 12 years. Well, I hope this video gave you some pros and cons to living in San Jose. We help people move and relocate to this area all the time. So please let me know how I can help. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out. All my contact information is somewhere around this video. And if you want to watch more content, feel free to check out my YouTube channel or my website. Thank you so much for watching. This is Eli, Analyze That.